A call to prayer in the heart of Port Moresby. This mosque, built with the help of Malaysian and Saudi Muslims, is home to a growing number of Papua New Guinean converts who have chosen Islam over Christianity. Mark Appai used to be a champion amateur boxer. He's now known as Khaled, an imam who received his training in Malaysia. Lots of Papua New Guineans are converted to Islam not because they don't like the other religion. It's just they become, they feel comfortable and they, practicing Islam is much easier than the others. Papua New Guineans began converting to Islam in the early 1980s. There are now more than 4,000 followers, with recent reports of entire villages converting at the same time. Many are drawn to Islam because of the similarities the religion has with Melanesian customs. We hit with hands, this is Islam. When we greet people, we hug them, this is Islam. We don't shake hands and leave them. So most of our cultures are Islamic. Church leaders say they don't feel threatened by the rapid growth of Islam. Islam have their vision and purpose, just like we Christians have, to go out and evangelize the nations of the world. But not everyone has welcomed the new religion, with incidents of discrimination and Islamophobia quite common. This mosque has been firebombed, there's a bullet hole in one of the windows, and a senior government minister once said that Islam was dangerous and a serious threat to peace and unity here. More people tend to believe what the other people say, instead of coming and hearing from the Muslims. Khalid says attitudes will change as the number of Papua New Guineans converting to Islam continues to increase. Steve Marshall, ABC News, Port Moresby.